So I've always heard home is where the heart is, but I don't think I fully ever really understood that until we built this house. I love how every time we step foot inside it, we unknowingly fill it with emotion and movement and sound. Growing up with an architect as a father really taught me to realize that there's beauty in simplicity. Things don't have to be grandiose or big to be impactful. Something as basic as how the light can seep through the trees at a certain time of day can really alter the mood of a structure and transport you to another world. Dennis Castillo Flanes is the architect that designed this house, and he just so happens to be my dad. It's definitely one of the most incredible gifts that he could have given my wife and son and I. So as you walk through the house, you'll see nods to the Bauhaus movement and Japanese inspiration. It's amazing because he seamlessly blended the structure with nature to a point where sometimes I basically forget I'm in the city. It's kind of crazy because he managed to line the walls with memories like long before the house was even built. There's definitely a familiarity throughout that I remember as a kid from these like iconic books that he had stacked on his drafting room table. He's taught me to create with purpose and emotion and instinct and working with him on this project was definitely an incredible experience. You know, it's just wild to know that every square inch of this place was designed with love and our well-being in mind. This is his legacy. So to breathe life into this space, we worked with Dexter Dolores. And he's by far one of the most remarkable and innovative interior designers out there. But yet somehow he still manages to make a house feel like a home, and I think that's super important. He insisted we incorporate pieces that my wife and I have collected throughout the years, pieces that had significance. And now, every time I sit down in the morning and take a look around, I realize that everything reminds me of a specific moment in time, and it basically represents a story that is unique to us. This is our home.